Welcome to another quick video on Affinity Publisher. In this little exercise I wanted to show you how you can link videos and ordinary photographic images um, into your documents and you can export these as PDF files and maybe other things I don't know but certainly as a PDF file um, these the linked images and videos go with the file. They don't actually embed in it, but they go along with it. So if you're sending the file to somebody, the PDF, you send the PDF and the images, uh, zip them all up into a zip file. And I'll show you that in a moment before you send them to wherever they've got to go. Um, you can actually create hyperlinks to the documents and leave the, leave the videos and images on a website, for example. But if you move them, then the PDF file becomes useless because it will lose the links to the files. So there are two methods of doing this. Um, so let me show you what you're seeing on screen here is a simple one-page version. Now this is just a, an ordinary document I put up here to put this up as an example because I don't want to spend too long on this. Now here is a video. Click here to visit. Now when you're going to do that, you, I right, uh, right click on that, scroll all the way down to interactive and edit the hyperlink. You can see obviously I've already got that hyperlink in there. Now include file on export means that when you um, export the file, it will also export the documents that you've embedded. Now I can show you that here. There's some images I'm going to put in the document. There's the embed test. There's the embedding a hyperlink document. That's actually that document there. And there are the two files that I've embedded with it. If you wanted to send this as, as one complete um, file that you're sending to somebody, maybe it's a design, maybe it's a travel documentary, something like that, and you get the whole lot of them here, compress three items, and it's created a zip file. Now it's just called archive, but I'll call it um, embed embed m d o c u m e n t s rattle rattle keyboard, and you send that to whoever because all of those files are in it. They unzip the document and they read it because. The JPEG and the MP4 stay relevant to the PDF. So you open them all in the same directory. Now, we'll just go back here for a moment. Publish a link files. And there's, there's some files I'm going to put in. Now you can see where that is. That's downloads waves on shore MP4. Include the files and that's the ones that went over there. So I'll cancel that. Let's have a look at this one here. Go right down, interactive, edit hyperlink, same thing, include file on export, and there's the file that will be included. But when they're when you export the file, they will be that file will be exported to the same location that you exported your file to. And in this case I exported it to a folder called embed test. And that's where it exported it to. There's the image there, and there's the waves file there. There's the zip file and there's the PDF file. Go back to the other one. There's the files there. We'll just make the icon so you can see them. Now, what I'll do, 
I'll go there. I'll put I'll put a text frame there. Just put it there. It doesn't need to be full size. Um, we've got Adobe Garamond Pro Bold 18 point. Well, what we don't need to worry about whether it's bold or not. A A look at the Dampen River near Woodbridge. What's in the what's in the thing? So we go there. Interactive insert anchor. Insert an anchor or something within the same document. Insert a hyperlink. It's a file. We find the file. And I've got them in downloads. Publish a link files. Now because I want to see what I'm linking, I'll make them icons. There's a couple of movies and a PNG. Now there's the Deben River. We can open that one. Include file on export. If I don't use that, then I have to have the files sitting on a website. And I'll show you that if I can in a moment. It might, it might take a moment while I actually put a file onto my website. A look at the Deben River. This is, a, this is a great thing for, I would think, um, if you are doing a promotion of an area. Where is it? Interactive. There we go. Insert hyperlink. And again, find the file. There's some waves. I believe that's waves coming and going at Cobalt's Point. Include the file on the export. OK. Lastly, Another look at the Deben River. Okay, so you can see how easy it is. Deben River, D E B E N. Don't tell me this thing's taken to automatic automatic spelling. Interactive. Insert hyperlinks. Another look at the Deben. There we go. There's a nice picture of the Deben. Include the file. OK. tried this one directly to a website before so this will be something new even for me insert a hyperlink
we don't want to include the file, it's just a hyperlink. Now you can see that's how easy it is. And we've still got text up there, so you can have a page full of, of information. Mm, insert filler text. Why not? And that's all about what you're talking about. So we've got page one and two. <coughs> now, let's see. We go to File, we go to Export, Ignore the Pre-Flight Warnings, mm. Ignore and Continue, I'm not worried about Pre-Flight at the moment. Now, PDF for Export is the one you want. Don't rasterize anything. Preview Export when complete, so that means it will bring up Adobe Selection with background, current page, uh, no we want all pages, no reason we shouldn't put all the pages up there. I just want pages, oh there we go, pages 1 and 2. That's those two pages there, we don't want, I think there's about 6 pages in there, or 8, 6. Let's export those two pages. Now we're going to put them in M embed test. There's a couple of documents that are already there, so it should put up the new documents in there as well. Embed test. There we go. You should see the new documents appear in there. We'll replace the original document. There's the documents that came in today. You can see they've gone over there with that. And there's the PDF. Now, how does this work? Simple. It'll ask you if you want to allow access to that file. And there it is. Now, close that down again. Otherwise, we'll end up with them all over the place. This one here is video, allow it. There's um, 30 seconds of movie. Nice bit of, nice shot of the North Sea. Oh, pretty rugged. Okay, finish that, close that. Now let's have a look. These are the new ones. Deben River. Yes, I trust that it says remember this action for this site for all PDF documents. Well, it just keeps doing it anyway. So we'll allow. And there's the documents coming up there. That's image 1279. That's image 1279. That's that one there. Let's close that down. Go back to our now this link is to a file on a website. Will this one work or do I need to... Oh, there we go. The Deben River. That's okay. But that one there... is not linking. Okay. But that one is. That's no problem. So the static links are fine. Let's go have a look at this. This is the link. Let's edit that link. Interactive. Insert anchors. No. Hyperlink properties. There's, now there's a proper URL. Maybe it doesn't do URLs. Maybe it only does files. Aha! Uh -huh. Character style. It says hyperlink, but it doesn't do... It looks like it doesn't do those. So now we know. Export. What does preflight have to say? Spelling mistake. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Hyperlink invalid. Hyperlink invalid. 
Okay. I can leave with that. That's an invalid hyperlink, so it doesn't do. We have to look into that. It doesn't do those ones. Interactive. Now that just puts it there and we already know how we already know those ones work. So it does file but it doesn't do web pages. Um, which is logical enough because it's quite a security issue if it does. Well that's nice to know. Okay, so forget that. But we can include it, include file on export, and that will put that file into the directory that we have the other ones. Export Yes, yes, we know that. Interactive hyperlink properties. Okay. Let's just export that and ignore the pre-flight. Pages 1 and 2 for export. And don't think there's anything in more we can do to alter that. No. Close and export. Replace that. Apple Touch and there's that little file from the system that's now in there. And it's not doing it because it's not allowed. Because the, uh, the site is too secure. Go to hyperlink target. Oh, it's gone. Go to hyperlink target. Nope, it's not going to do it. Fair enough. Okay, so it doesn't work if you have an image on a website, only if they're on your drive. There we go. Job done. However, all the others do, and that's quite okay. Now what it did with that second one, it's put the image there in the subdirectory. Let's just check it. Interactive, hyperlink properties, There it is there, the embed test, open, include file for export and OK, file, export, ignore and continue, pages 1 and 2, PDF, export, up it comes. And there it is. And it 
brings up the file, you can see. Not the web page, but the file. And because it came from a website, it actually thinks it's on a website. Because that one comes up the same in Safari. But it doesn't do all that other stuff. Okay, that's all there is to it really. Now, that's really up to you what you do with that. I'm sure you can, um, you've got enough images to be able to make yourself a really nice, um, a really nice documentary. Uh, not only written, but interactive as well. And don't forget, when you've exported the whole thing, keep it all in one directory. We already have a zip file there. So, go to compress seven items. And there's the new archive. Move that one to the bin. New distribution. New distribution file. There we go. When you unzip that, all your files will be in it and you can watch your, watch your document watch your uh, movie. That's all there is to it folks. Thanks for watching. A quick little a quick little visit to an interactive um